it's a it's a zero motorcycle. It's amazing. You can cross the country for less than ten dollars in electricity. You can go drag race for about a quarter in electricity. It's it's stuff that's just pretty pretty impressive. Craig taught me about streamlining. We built this. Not only does it make you go further on a charge, but the streamlining keeps you a lot more comfortable while you're riding. This past year, I went about 50,000 miles across the country about four times from Canada to Mexico and a couple rallies racing against Teslas, and uh, I beat a lot of them. Um, it's, it's been quite an incredible journey, that's for sure. Uh, I'd like you guys to put your hands together for a man who fundamentally changed motorcycling single-handedly. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Craig Vetter. I came from a motorcycle family. My grandfather was a board track racer in, in Washington, D.C. in 1918-1920. My father had Harleys in the 30s. Um, I just grew up around two wheels, so I just loved them. My biggest influence was a man named Buckminster Fuller. Buckminster Fuller was a designer, he was an architect, he was an engineer, he was an inventor, and I would follow him around the country. And he said, we don't have to worry about the future if we do more with less. Making motorcycles better transportation was doing more with less. And so I decided that I would design things that would make motorcycles better transportation. And so on my Yamaha YDS 3250, I made this fairing right here, right? <laughs> and I drove around the country on this 250. And my brother wanted one. And my friends wanted one. And pretty soon we were making three or four or five and ultimately thousands. Turns out there's only one shape that goes through the air efficiently. Only one shape. Round at the front and pointed at the rear. It's teardrop shape. People love this. People aren't sure about the truth. And the truth is there's only one shape that goes down the road, whether it's a car or an airplane or an RV. If you want to go 70 miles an hour and you want to consume the least amount of energy, you've got to be streamlined, round at the front, pointed at the rear. That's why I call this the last better fairing. I'll never do another one. There's no reason to. I could never do a better one. This is it. It is absolutely phenomenal what is possible with electric motorcycles. It is our future. Look at this. He's, Terry is riding an electric motorcycle right now in this room. This is what it's like on the road. This is the future. He crossed the country on six days with this. How about that? How about a round of applause there? <laughs> Uh, the event, as always, is well worth getting up this early for. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mary with the Federal Companies, and we ship motorcycles. We're a huge supporter of the AMA. You know, this morning, having a chance to interview Craig Vetter, it was really, I mean, what a great experience. Um, there's very few people that have had such a fundamental impact on motorcycling.